Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. A pleasant good morning. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on the flash on ice, Usain Bolt on ice, marrying Gabrick as he announces his official retirement from the league. We're going to give him a career tribute, just like I did with the great Buster Posey and Dustin Pedroia of Major League Baseball. Here I am to do a career tribute for one of the greats, one of the guys that I first started paying attention to while watching hockey, and then unfortunately still had to be a fan of while I was on the Rangers, as you can see. I'm not a Rangers fan here, but this is a guy that came over in Minnesota for the Wild, and before Kirill Kaprizov was the Kirill Kaprizov, basically, and really took that team by storm, really helped to make the Minnesota Wild the brand that we know them as today, and that Kirill is a part of today. Marion Gabra came over at 18, put up 36 points at 18, 67 at 19 for the Wild in 78 games, 65, 30 goal, back-to-back -back 30 goal seasons at 19 and 20 for the Minnesota Wild. Um, and then in 65 games in 05 and 06 for the Wild, had 38 freaking goals in 65 games, and then 30 goals in only 48 games the next season for the Minnesota Wild, as obviously the only problem in Marion Gabrick's career is he didn't always play the heftiest total every season of the 82-game schedule. Otherwise, this guy, honestly, with his talent and his skill, would have had a chance to be a first ballot Hall of Famer when it came to his overall skill if he was able to have, one, not the career-ending injury he was able to have, but two, just consistently play the 76 to 82 games because you see his numbers. They're just absolutely bonkers when he's able to do that. But unfortunately, after really the 2012-13 season, he had 47 games that year, then 35, then 12, then 41, then 22 with CBJ, 19 with the Kings. Then he went back up to 69 and 14-15 when he get, went all the way back up to 27 goals for the Kings and had a really good season then. But realistically, for this guy, the, the only reason Marion Gabrick, to me, doesn't have a Hall of Fame career on paper is because of the injuries. This dude was an absolute lightning. He was the flash on ice, Usain Bolt on ice, whatever you want to call him. This guy could skate like the wind. He could finesse you like the wind as well. He was quick. He had very fleet-level hands and very quick hands that were able to just deke around anybody and just snap that ridiculous shot on net from wherever or just make the goalie look stupid because of his speed combined with his silky smooth hands. Marion Gabrick is a player that deserves to be honored and a player that deserves to be praised. Unfortunately for him, because of the injuries, if you look at his numbers as we round out his career, he's a one-time cup winner and a one-time All-Star. He's 407 goals, 408 assists, a plus 95, a 51.7 Corsi 4, and a 57.2 Ozone start um, for his career with 815 points. So it's something that I think, unfortunately for him, Due to those injuries, he won't get into the Hall of Fame because those numbers put you below a Hall of Fame threshold, 1035 games, 815 points. That more puts you in the John LeClaire category where you're not really in the Hall of Fame, but you're still regarded as a very great player and a guy, too, that maybe could have been in the Hall of Fame if in more in certain seasons. But Marion Gabrick, to me, is still a guy that was very fun to watch. He's one of my favorite players to watch when I first started watching hockey, of course. I'm only 24, so I didn't really start first watching him in those ridiculous 30-goal seasons that he scored at 19 and 20. I saw those more in highlights and all that that you see on YouTube and what have you. But I did pay attention to him when I started watching hockey more like 05, 06, 06, 07 season when he was still kicking butt. And that was in that 48-game season out there in Minnesota. And continued to obviously follow his career when he was kicking butt in New York and getting the 86 points in 2009 and 10, and then getting the 76 points um, in 82 games in 2011 and 12. So I've been a fan of Marion Gabrick his entire career. Hats off to Marion Gabrick and claps up for Marion Gabrick for a hell of a career. Gabby was a dynamo on the ice, one that you couldn't even keep track of at times because of his absolutely ridiculous flash speed out there, and one that just had some of the best skill combined with that speed. He is a guy that really really, really ignited the Minnesota Wild brand while he was there, 
and was a dynamo that fans were able to gravitate to just as much as the current Kirill Kaprizov, and even more so than the current Kirill Kaprizov. In some instances, they were able to gravitate to because he came over at 18-19, was drafted, then came over at a young age, where, of course, Kirill came over later and took time to play overseas. So, Marion Gabrick, hats off to you for a hell of a career. This has been a Marion Gabrick tribute video. Of course, Gabrick hadn't played since the 17-18 season. His contract... Um, ended at the end of last season when he was put on surgery, uh, on the IR, excuse me, for herniated disc surgery around that time in the 2018 season when he was with the Senators, and his contract ended up expiring as his rights got traded to the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Lightning so they could play with the LTIR money. But Marion Gabrick, hell of a career, player that I think, honestly, if he stayed healthier throughout his career, would be a Hall of Fame player. Unfortunately, right now, it seems he's on the outside looking in in that John leclaire s category when it comes to Marion Gabrick. But we'll have to see. Who knows? Maybe they will put him in because they just know the other side of it that he would have got in 90%, really, if he didn't have those bang-ups in his career and didn't have his career really have a complete lull um, in the middle there, when, like I said, he played 35, he played 47, 35, 12, 41, 22, 19 games. That's really going to hurt, obviously, your numbers there if you do that in a bunch of straight seasons. So, again, Marion Gabrick, hell of a player, speedster, Usain Bolt on ice, flash on ice, a player that could score, could assist with the best of them, and really was just an overall team player that found whatever he needed to do for his team, especially in the end when he knew he wasn't the same player, he would do it and go out there and grind and be the best player he could be. So this has been a reaction to Marion Gabrick retiring and a career tribute to Marion Gabrick. Have a great day and pleasant day, everyone. This has been Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe up above on the easy-to-use Professor Joe widget or down below on the subscribe button, and also check out our Facebook page that is linked down below there as well if you want to get up-to-date videos as quick as possible. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.